All right, because it's browser-based, I have to um, click off of the active window in order to edit my stream info, which means the music is stopping. There's no way I can do this. But then as soon as I... As soon as I click off, you can see that we're, we're chopped and screwing it. We're chopping and screwing it. You see what I mean? I move away from the mic to breathe in. True! Tayzonday.eat. Okay, close. Edit stream info. Before you ask, no, the train can't run over both tracks. And then we change the title to have exclamation point trolley problem. And then we change the category to be trolley problem inc. I've done see, remember we, we did this yesterday as well. Let me tell you. Here's how you how you make a sponsored tweet. I got this, I'm amongst the best in the sponsored tweet game, I think. I also do appreciate so many people yesterday, and by so many I mean like three, but still replying to the sponsored tweet and saying thank you for putting hashtag ad on a new line. It looks kind of slick with it. I appreciate that. I always try to make it on a new line if I've got the character limit. It just makes the aesthetics pop a little bit. Okay. We will include this. All caps. Come argue in chat. We're playing Trolley Problem Inc. from at Yogscast Games. That's not a real Twitter account. That's on me. I tried to get a little creative with it. Check it out here and watch the stream here. Dude, I gotta say, but let's do this before it ends up in the VOD so I don't seem like too much of a shill. But Yogscast Games, I mean, they published Landlord Superman. I gotta give uh, I gotta give Sips some credit here. Landlord Super is a is a slapper, kind of like a European Mombazu. And then you make sure on a new line hashtag ad. It's just that simple. Yes, yeah, Sips implemented the back end. He does know how to handle the back end. That's why that's why they always assign him that role. Making sure everything in the back end is, is pointed at the right end point. Hold on, I'm just loading. We're just loading up here. I'm going to turn off the CRT effect. I'm going to turn off the wiggle effect. By the way, I, I know I said this, but I think I said it in Chib's chat. Maybe I said it when Chib was on stream. I've been watching a lot of um, Sesame Street, a lot of kids' shows in general. I got to tell you, not all kids' shows are created equal. Sesame Street is unbelievable. It's goaded. The wiggles make me want to die. Beep, beep, chugga, chugga, big red car. We travel here and we travel far. Big, big, beep, beep, chugga, chugga, big red car. We're going to drive the whole day long. Compare that to Billy Porter. Now I'm friends with the penguin. It starts by saying hi. Yeah, I made uh, Chib listen to that Elmo song because it's a banger. And you would go see Elmo's Got the Moves. Elmo's Got the Moves is a, an unbelievable bop. I don't even, it, he goes so hard, I don't even know what he's saying. He's like, Elmo's got the moves. Elmo's got the moves. Elmo's got the moves. It's good, man. It has 237 million views on YouTube. <laughs> no way. No way. Oh, man. Is that an Eiffel 65 track? 
That shit has 237 million views. It's a kind of a slapper. Big Bird's got the moves. Have you got the moves? It's kind of auto-tuned. Slash marker. Trolley problem. Inc. Very excited to be playing another utilitarian philosophy game. Trolley Problem Inc. Thank you to Yogg's Cast Games for the sponsorship. It's the trolley problem, but a little... You know how in um, Not For Broadcast, at first it was like gameplay, 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 and then an undercurrent of plot and social issues? I believe the same thing is at work here in Trolley, trolley Problem Inc. There's a campaign mode where your decisions, you get to see how the world decided versus how you decided and judge the world thusly, lest ye be judged. Sometimes all it takes is one bad lever. Why so serious in chat? Um, there is also Twitch integration. So I think Twitch can actually help us make decisions here, which scares the crap out of me. Uh, you can go check it out. Exclamation point trolley problem in chat or look at the video description below. You'll find the link. It came out on Steam about an hour and 17 minutes ago. So I am just going to... I was recommended to play on a custom campaign. So just give me a moment to look at the custom campaign settings here. Play speed one, fast forward button. Sure, why not? Player counts, one. <laughs> yes. Twitch, you can play this co-op too. And then you alternate, I think, who gets to make the choice. Um, but I want to make the choice. Twitch, whoa, okay, I'm authorizing. Trolley problem integration wants to... Access your account. Sure. I don't like that it can perform uh, moderation actions. But everything else, manage channel points. Sure, why not? Send whispers. Okay. <laughs> Authorize. You successfully logged in. The game may take a few seconds to notice that you've made it. Streamer choice or viewer choice? I mean, we're going streamer choice 100%. Okay, let's get this show on the road here. That was easy. The following game contains adult themes. It does not contain explicit language, sexual content, horror, or show. Well, then what's the point? Choices matter, so please take your time. Player discretion is still advised. Okay. Sign your name below, showing you understand and agree to endorse every decision you make. It's not TOS. I know that kind of looks like a torso with uh, nipples, but it's meant to be as me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... Sorry, sorry. I'm going to raise the volume as well. Just give me one moment here. I'll make sure I got the volume raised up. Oh, man. It's a li Was it a little quiet? Okay, sure. I mean, if it's quiet for me and like I like, I like a quiet life, it's probably very quiet for you. There we go. Let's crank that son of a gun. I've just doubled it on a logarithmic scale. That's right. I made it a thousand times louder. Speak louder than words. Welcome to Trolley Problem Inc. Founded to help people travel safely across the nation. All our employees must show three core values. Still very quiet. Okay, sorry, sorry, I apologize. Most, not to you, but mostly the Yogscast games, I apologize, I'm supposed to be a professional streamer. This is max volume, except I have lowered some of the settings uh, in-game. With that in mind, let's start your training. Okay, so you can vote with exclamation point A or exclamation point B, but don't do it yet, you don't even know what you're voting on, okay? There's a runaway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. On the tracks are five people unable to move. You are next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. Okay. However, this is the classic. There is a person on the other track. What do you do? I'm a simple man. Now, I hate to say it, but I'm, I'm a utilitarian in this sense. I understand the philosophical argument that the person that's on the other side of the tracks didn't do anything, and you are making the decision to uh, commit murder, in a way, or at least, you know, I would call it maybe vehicular manslaughter, even if you're not driving the train. But I think that's trying to wash your hands of what is a difficult decision no matter what. I pull the lever and I save five lives at the expense of one, and I just say sorry to this man. Oh, uh, you're going to kill someone. Isn't how I thought I was going to start my day. I'm not concerned. Fast forward me. Yo, he even gave me an achievement. I hope that person's family and friends will forgive you. Whatever. Like, well, why are they on the tracks to begin with? Just roll over. 
Okay, it has been done. Even Chad was on the right side of history on this one as well. I appreciate that. Whoa. Usually we don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. Just think a little more before acting next time. You agree with 64% of players worldwide. You agree with Reed Graves. Total agreement 100%. At Reed Graves, are you in chat? Reed Graves, not in chat. Maybe they're on uh, maybe they're on incognito mode right now. It's still quiet. Hold on. I did get an achievement called um utilitarian, which is perfect. Oh, come on. Okay, okay, let me let me hit my settings menu when we get out of this. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls, she dreams of looking after the world. Holly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. More of us should take a leaf out of her book. Okay, so a five-year-old child who dreams of being a doctor. A trolley is heading towards another five people. Your next to is it, like instantly uncomfortable. The trolley will derail and descend down a hill heading for the park sandpit. You notice that Polly is in the sandpit sculpting her dream hospital. I'm so... I knew it was going to happen too. Chad is like, a, it's a child. Immediately like go in. Like it's so much more like this. Here's the thing, okay? My principles have not changed. It hurts more to know that this is a real person and a child with a bright future ahead of them. Um, instead of just in my head an abstracted number. But you have to remember, these five people are also human beings with stories and aspirations. Are they older? Maybe. Are they younger? Maybe. We don't know. They, do they have children themselves? Do they not have children themselves? We don't know. So I, I go for the lever on this one. I still pull the lever. Now, Polly isn't even on the tracks. Like, she's just playing in the sand pit. I say sorry to Polly on this one, but it's got to happen. I'll fast forward. I think we're ready here. Don't play God. <laughs> they forced me to play God when they... Oh, come on. They forced me to play God when they made me choose what to do with the lever. There's no way to just be like, I abstain from making a decision. Abstaining is just making a decision in one other direction. Something ...and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Are you to blame for the death of a young girl? No, the train is in the lever creator. The lever creator is, to, is who to blame. The key to this test is integrity. This is Tyrone. Okay, hold on. I'm just, I'm going to up my, my settings. I'm going to up my, my audio settings here. It's not because they had a photo of me pre-Peloton, okay? Voice up, sound and music, stay Four, lower. Six, five. Okay, this should work. Five should work. Continue, please. The end justifies the means. Probably better, right? The key to this test is integrity. This is Tyrone. He is a 30-year-old secretary at a law firm. He's just he like me. He's binge-watching crime shows. Now, just to give chat, like, an approximation, by the way. You don't really know anything else about I am hairier than this man. Just in, ca in case that changes your uh, opinion of what I would look like without my shirt off. This guy is hairy. I am hairier than this guy, without a doubt. It's not even close. Not on my head. I don't know. To be honest, we might have a similar hairline. But body hair, I have more. 100%. Okay, so he's scared of trains. Now we are upping the ante. You are on a bridge with Tyrone, watching a trolley speeding towards five people again. You can only stop it by deliberately pushing Tyrone off the bridge, blocking its path. Okay, this is fucked. Do you push Tyrone off the bridge? Or let the train hit five people? I'm scared of this one. Sorry, I clicked off the screen for a second. It's one thing to hit a lever. It's another one to push a man who is a spectator off of the bridge and let his the prodigious size of his body stop a train. 
Is failing to prevent a train from killing five people the same as murdering? I, I honestly, on the, I'll be real with you. On this one, I watch from a bridge. I can't pick it. I can't pick it. Oh, you, that just means do nothing. Okay, fair enough. This is, in my personal code of ethics, this is more like murder. Or, they, sorry, this is more like murder, and this is just a tragic situation. I'm saving... I'm not saving Tyrone. I'm simply abstaining from killing him. That's not the same as saving him. Owens. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I've just seen an ambulance arrive. I believe Tyrone has just had a heart attack due to the stress of it all. What the hell? I'd like to go back and, and maybe I'll give him a push then. <laughs> You're playing with my, my heart. That's the first time we were in the minority of players overall, I think. A cat has nine lives. Now for the final core value, respect. <laughs> it seems we've run out of resources to continue your testing. I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley, so... I'm not getting on the train, are you crazy? Oh, okay. There is a dying dog down on the tracks. No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. <laughs> oh my god. You kill the dog, putting it out of its misery. Or leave it to die, cold and alone. Okay, um... Here's the thing. I can't say this as I have never been dying. And I, I respect the idea that you can be so miserable that you want to die. Okay? But I wouldn't want... If I was laying down dying, I wouldn't want someone to drive a train over me unless it gave them some benefit, you know? Just to run the train over me and consider it mercy? I might be in my own head, like, in, enjoying DMT, the spirit molecule, and seeing, like, my whole childhood flash behind my eyes or something like that. I don't want some stranger to make the decision that I'm going to lose the last 10 minutes of my life just because they want to feel good about it. So I'm, I would leave it to die because I feel like that's the dog's choice. I feel like it's the dog's autonomy. Remember what they said in Donnie Darko. Every, everybody dies alone. It says put it out of its misery, but it doesn't say like it's in pain. It just says there's a dying dog. Might just be, oh, he might be sleeping, man. When you respect something, you're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. Instead, you just left it there to die. Is Reed, Reed Graves is the dev? Is this correct? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's not just one random person in chat. That's funny. Oh great! I've just heard those kids are back. They keep sneaking down onto the track. Dan should play this. I would love to see him try to try to weasel out of giving an answer every time. That would be incredible content. Just remember, respect. Responsibility. Oh, man. Five trespassers have snuck down onto the trolley line, even though signs warn them of the dangers. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquents? Uh, I let my co-worker die because they might be trespassing, but they're trespassing in a safe way where the train will only hit them if I act. My co-worker, on the other hand, appears to have found their way onto the tracks. I guess they were allowed, but they have now found themselves on the tracks anyway, which seems like a dereliction of duty. I think I, I let my co-worker die on this one. Also, I don't want people trespassing on my uh, property necessarily. Like, just do it somewhere else. But trespassing is also not like a real crime. It's like a precursor to real crimes. Just because you're in the vicinity of a place you shouldn't be doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. It just means that that's a step that must go until you do something wrong. That must be before it. So I don't think you deserve to get hit by a train just because you are, you know, around the train. Because I'm the person making the action that's causing you to get hit, not them. I, I fast forward. Is 
It is Brown and Ryan 2021. You killed a co-worker. All right, then I guess your results for the first week are in. Let's go. I'll run these up the flagpole and see what the suits upstairs. Let's see. Maybe they'll give me a personality test. Maybe I'll get my Myers-Briggs uh, personality type. Dear sir or madam, we have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem, Inc. and would like to thank you for your hard work, especially when some challenging decisions had to be made. We would like to invite you to take employment... Let's go! Also, let's go! I'm ready. Okay, give me some hard ones. These ones were way too easy. Give me some ones where I need to, like, peep OG. It looks like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. You've been transferred to the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. THC is stoic, focusing more on justice... It's perfect. This is the department I should be at. Also... We'll start with justice. Should remind you, exclamation point Trolley Problem. Trolley Problem came out uh, today on Steam. This particular call to action I'm dedicating to all the Twitch streamers. You can finally see how psychotic your audience is. With a click of a button, you can figure out if they would let five strangers die in favor of allowing a child to live, or vice versa. And I can imagine it's only getting... They, a lot of them said they should just kill a dog for no reason. You never know. Even though he was dying, he possibly could have gotten better. I think every streamer should play this for one hour, just to get a feel for who they're entertaining. Today, you'll be in A&E. A young male has come in. That's British for the emergency room. Urgently needs a heart transplant. There's only one in the hospital, and this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. Who should get the heart? Okay. Now this one's a little bit messed up. But I'm like the elderly man, he was in he, he was scheduled. He was in the queue for the heart transplant. I can't, he waited in line like a good citizen and then an accident happens and all of a sudden we're like, sorry, because somebody was texting and driving, you have to die? I don't think so. He did everything right. I refuse to punish him. The elderly man will get the heart. I'm not even saying the young man made a mistake. Like he might just have been hit. That's, that's the tragedy. But the thing is, you were at least involved in the accident. This guy was just guy eating his, old. you know, Weetabix in the morning. Waste of a heart if he doesn't even survive the you can't just throw, I agree, you can't throw society out just based on age. What if one person was, what if it was 76 that's getting the heart transplant and then the guy who got in the accident was 74? Is it worth two years? I don't know. Is, yes, it, what if the young man was uh, 35 and what if the elderly man was 60? That's 25 years. I don't know. When do you draw the line, man? The young guy has so much to look forward to. Oh, wait. Did you say the old man? Oh. <laughs> I don't... I still am like... I, I consider that I, I have no regrets about the decision I made here. None whatsoever. Like, if I, I'm being real with you, I know that, like, this is not how it would work on, like, Scrubs or Grey's Anatomy or whatever. But if I was in the hospital awaiting a heart transplant and they were like, oh, sorry, I know you waited a year and a half for the heart transplant. But, like, uh, a guy got shot with a crossbow in his heart and he's 10 years younger than you, so we got to give it to him instead. I would be like, no, this is my heart. We, cause otherwise, we don't want to live life like that. Like kids, sure, okay. If you're a child, I, I'll be honest with you. If there was like a child drowning, they were like six years old, and it's me or them, I, and I hope I never find myself in that situation. But I would like to think that I would jump in and try to save them, okay? I've lived a good life. I would die a hero. That's better than most people get. If there was like a... 22 year old in the water drowning i'm 33 and they were like it's him or you i would be like shouldn't have copped out on those swimming lessons 15 years ago huh i went i went through the swimming lessons i learned how to swim so that if this ever happened to me i could swim to the shore what were you doing in the meantime when i was learning how to swim 
If they were, if they were a child, you know, they're they're adrift in a world that's unfamiliar to them. You know, they 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 don't they don't have a home court advantage. But this is a world that I that I live in and I'm comfortable with it. I kind of feel like you know. I'm not sure what, what age has to do with it. And I'm not, if you're saying, well, the older person should always sacrifice themselves for the younger person, what's the line and what's the argument you make? You start to go, uh, well, I, people would be like, obviously one year is not it. Ten years? I don't know. Does ten, well, maybe it's a percentage of your life instead. Okay, should like uh, an eight-year-old sacrifice their life to save a four-year-old? Should a, an 80-year-old sacrifice their life to save a 60-year-old? Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. You get into too much, like, you're, you're going to have to take it in front of the Supreme Court. That's why I respect the line. That's why I respect the queue. Anyway, move on, moving on. You can't win them all. You're late. The hospital is rammed. Every staff member has their hands full. So you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. Remember. What? It's my pleasure. A patient has begged to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. What do you do? I mean, this is tough, man. This is... <laughs> The, the I my personal opinion is that the moral thing to do is to euthanize them. But I think you do also have to consider that, like in the real world, if it's illegal, you know, maybe I'm gonna be uh, disbarred from the medical industry. Maybe I won't be able to help the people that I would have been able to help as a result of losing my medical license. Um, I, do I really want to spend the rest of my life, instead of being a, a doctor helping people, do I want to spend the rest of my life being like a symbol for the, the legal uh, court battle that we're going to get into for, for whether or not euthanasia should be legal? I think, I hate to say it, I think I would play it by the book. But I acknowledge the moral thing to do is, in, in my opinion at least, is to euthanize them. This is an honest... I would love to click B and feel like I was being honest with myself. But I don't think... I think I would stick with A. Keeping them alive and what if the patient was 30? <laughs> mm, but what if they had a dog that was healthy? Dude, are you seeing... We're actually agreeing with the moral majority here. That scares the shit out of me. <laughs> slow in choosing, but slower in changing. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. Today should be easier. You have a choice to make which some people would see as a good problem to have. Okay. You have five patients. Each needs a different organ. But One of them is a train own. that will run over a hundred people if you heal them. For a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist and use their organs to save the five in desperate need? You're going to learn a lot about me. I consider myself utilitarian within reason. But also, do you know how pissed off I would be if I went to the hospital to get like a routine vaccination? And they're like, wow, you got a bunch of like healthy organs here. You're dead now. Like, that's not the way that I want society to work. That's just a damn nightmare. All of us could save lives with the organs that we presently have. Not to mention the resources we presently have. But society is there so that this doesn't turn into, like, an Eli Roth movie. Is this hostile? It's a, it's a hospital, not a butcher shop. You want to save the many? Is his life worth it? We leave the tourist. Do not harvest organs. Anybody, I'm assuming anybody that chooses harvest organs uh, is joking. We got to be at like 90% plus here. You let five people die today. 
You probably should have looked into their background. 74. Looks like one was researching into improving vaccines. This shit is so hypocritical. That won't be an issue. So one in three people that has played this game or voted um, thinks that you should harvest the organs of the healthy and distribute them amongst the people who need them. Okay, the hospital is right there. Go ahead. Sorry, one in four. <laughs> I was like, 25% is a third of 75%, but uh, it's not a third of 100. It's like the, the classic, uh, you know, uh, I'm proud to be an American. At least I know I'm free and I proudly give. I, I proudly thank the man who died to give that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. This is a David Cross joke. But it's like, all right, buddy, enlist. I think they're always hiring. You can head on down to the local regimen and, and get yourself signed up. You don't have to sing the song anymore. If that's your ambition, similarly, if you think that people with, you know, functioning organs should, uh, you know, sacrifice their lives to heal many people. I don't know if it's legal, but you're, I'm sure you can figure something out on the dark web. Get fulfilled. You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. They, scientists haven't proved that yet. It's debated. Yet again. You now run the hospital. You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. This vaccine will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill, but you'll need to deal with their parents. I distribute the vaccine. Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this <laughs> epidemic? Slight problem. Clinical trial data suggests the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill. Okay. Much worse than the virus itself. I need a pause. I would like to throw in a pause here. I need to know what the the endemic virus is here. That's the thing. If it's like you get the hiccups, maybe we don't need to make one in five children severely ill. If it's polio, then I think the juice is worth the squeeze. Also, there is one thing you got to know here. It says it will stop the endemic. So we've got it built into the into the problem that it will end the endemic. One in five children will be severely ill. It says nothing about mortality. It says nothing about death. I'm going to err on the side of vaccination. I know it's spicy. I'm erring on the side of it. This is what this game is designed to do. It's designed to create controversy. With the information available to us, I feel free to take this. One in five is oh, pretty boy. bad. You have <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. A lot of messages coming in from a woman called Karen. Not sure if it's all the same person. 60.8% of people worldwide? Okay, I don't feel so bad then. Did you... So this is an aside, but did you see the... the and I don't know how verace, ver, the veracity of this information, how verifiable it is, but I, I saw um, a post that was a news article that said, crazy lady on camera got filmed telling a Chinese bus driver to go back to China. Plot twist, they were in China. It's got to be one of the funniest headlines I've ever seen in my entire life. Just, just truly unhinged. I also browse Reddit. Uh, tip, of the, tip of the cap to you, fellow Redditor. hospital is getting noticed. You're now going to have to make some big decisions. They will affect a lot of people. While choosing, always keep in mind justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. Okay. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research? Yes. Treating patients as usual. Whoa! 
What the? Did, uh, they're breaking through the system. Um, we start the research. I know how it sounds, but like... Many of them will lose their lives in the course of this uh, scient uh, pursuit of scientific breakthroughs. But that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I mean, can't they also... Like, I get you need a double-blind experiment. You need some people in the placebo trial. You need some people in the medicine trial. But can't they also, like, take a Tylenol or something? Can't they, like, I don't, can't they have some chicken noodle soup alongside? I'll start the research. I'm going for it nonetheless. How much do these candies and eggheads even cost? Stop calling me an egghead. <laughs> I think the thing you've got to recognize with the trolley problem is that you always have, like, uh, every decision is has trade-offs. There's always good and there's always bad. Hopefully they will. You know, no decision is like, you know, hey, there's a pill you eat, and if you eat it, it solves world hunger. Do you eat the pill? You always have to make a bad choice. I think it just roots out intellectual dishonesty from people who are like, I choose to just wash my hands of it completely. It forces you to reconcile it. Congratulations. This letter is to certify that I have examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here in our artificial intelligence division. Driverless cars, let's go! This is my wheelhouse. The future is upon us. I I could talk about ninety seconds is not enough time for us to discuss these problems they're going to give us. Well, la di da, another promotion. You're now in charge of a private self-driving automotive division, SAD. First things first. Hey. I skipped. A self-driving <laughs> car is traveling along a single-lane mountain road okay. and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers? Well, ideally you would hit the brakes, but given that we have no choice... I mean, what, I don't, what the heck does that mean? Plus a hundred percent. Are we getting a, a full set armor bonus? I hate to. I look. I'm procrastinating because I don't want to say the words "kill child," but like yet again, I even though it is a kid, I feel like if I bought a car and then someone else's like negligence, else. uh, like fell, it caused them to put themselves in danger, and my car was like, "Well, I guess you're gonna die instead," I would be pissed off. They didn't respect the right of way. You put this car on the road. Do you not feel responsible for their death? No, because if they weren't there, they wouldn't have died. I can, this one, I, I, it's a crappy situation. I never want to be a part of it. But I do feel like, morally speaking, my hands are clean right now. This is why we have crosswalks and sidewalks How and... How does the computer know that something in the road is human? Do we have good enough data sets? You see, even... We're, we're, we used to be 20% with the dev, now we're on 45%. Necessity is the mother of invention. We're, we're getting back to sanity. Ooh, someone's in trouble. The investors didn't like your last... The episode. investors would be so much more upset if you had the PR out there that your own car will kill you if it thought it was for the greater good of society. That's not how the stock market would, would work, man. If, it, if a news article came out that was like, hey, just so you know, if your Tesla decides your life is worth less than uh, a jaywalkers, it'll kill the driver. Sales would go to, not to zero, but they'd go a lot lower. I immediately reject the question as being based on a false premise. You need to choose how you want to carry on developing the car's AI. Oh, this if is the stock price, maybe? <laughs> always save as many lives as possible in hmm. an accident, or a system that would save our passengers at any cost. Everything in life works on a gradient, okay? 
I don't think that a car should save its passengers at all cost. But I also don't like the idea that if you buy a self-driving car, you're just like one data point in an AI created network that is making decisions on what it thinks is best for society. So I, I, I never try to pull this card unless I agree with it. But I think the real answer is like somewhere in the middle. Like if your car goes into an uncontrollable tailspin and the only way out is to crash into a school bus that will kill everybody on the school bus, but it's your fault for not changing like your tires to be all seasons or something like that, then, uh, then I think that you should just take the L and be dead. But I also don't want it to be like, hey, 20 assholes are just standing in the road. We're going to make the car explode so that they don't die. So I guess that puts me on the save our passengers side. But I think there's a gradient, to be fair. I think that there's a... Like, it's a, a sliding scale. Saving the passengers does help with our technical problems. Current data sets discriminate... Well, this isn't a kill. It's just... This is just valued lives. The AI doesn't need to determine if black women are people. Good work, I guess. I don't believe this because i don't think people drive like this like i don't think 60 percent of people when they drive if they made a mistake they would be like well i'm just going to drive off the cliff rather than like cause myself to tailspin into traffic i think they would do whatever they had to do to minimize damage to themselves given the information available the game is not racist you need to consider nuance it's an allusion to a real problem in programming, which is that the people who make the AI systems wash their hands and say, well, it's just the computer determining this stuff. But you don't realize that the people that are programming the AI in the first place and the data sets that you choose to feed to the artificial intelligence actually allow human bias to creep its way into the system. OK, you got to read a book. Just one, just one, maybe like a few tweets. Just one book or a few tweets. It's your... You gotta use the skills of human interpretation, okay? Sorry, sorry. Honesty is the best policy. I stand by where I've, where I've chosen so far, by the way. Them is amazing. We know where everyone is at all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them, and the closest one will be there in minutes. Okay. You can on. <laughs> I read. I read fast. Police believe he committed murder. Okay. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access to their files. Do you bypass security and invade their privacy? No. As as, like, he probably did that shit, right? That's my take on this. He probably did that. However, I think that this is throwing the baby out with the bathwater. You know, we value privacy as a society. We value, um, you know, due process as a society. They could have just been having a conversation where, uh, you know, they were role playing. It could have just been from a play or something like that. You're not, you're not able to just get ill, ill-gotten evidence admitted into the court, and it, I think that society is better as a result of that. Yes, I believe that murderers should be punished. But believe it or not, I think that there are probably some costs that are too high to pay that I value even more than the idea that a murderer should face justice. Like, why ruin society just because this one guy was an asshole? I have a feeling the investors upstairs will be happy with this. The more the world values privacy, the more they can justify hiding their taxes. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So the company has moved into delivery services now. They move mm -hmm. pretty quick around here. Sounds like they've got some pretty important cargo. Good luck with the new workload. One of your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype 
with the potential to end global warming. Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, once again a child runs across the road but trips. Should your AI kill the child or swerve off the cliff, losing the prototype? Okay, so you have to meet the game on its own terms. I hate to say it. If they made one prototype, they should be able to make another. I also think it's a bit of a fiction that the way that global warming could possibly be fixed is via just a single machine that could fit inside of a car rather than you know, societal change in human behavior across many decades at, the, at a minimum. However, given the way that the problem has been presented, we must protect I the think for the, children. My, the utilitarian side of me says you killed the child. Because you will save more lives and the child was they put themselves in danger this is not a they're not sitting at home and being like if you shoot this kid you'll save a billion people in the far car park obviously they put themselves in danger my car is going reverse on the highway but still i i we're in the minority or we're sorry we're in the majority again You've killed every child? That's because this game does something that, I mean, people do in real life as well. We have just recovered the child's body. They the value... They, they use it as like a, a, a trump card. A memorial statue without a photo. They go, There's well, so hey, I know you have principles, but does it change if one of the uh, people is uh, a child? Well, like, sometimes, yeah, but not always. There's like, would you kill uh, one person to save a million people? Probably. Oh, what if that person was a kid? Well, it's like the Simpsons quote, right? You know, money can buy lots of goods and services. Or wait, money can buy lots of peanuts? I forget the quote. You get the idea. <laughs> you know the quote I'm talking about? <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. I think I'm mixing up two different quotes. I have three kids and no money. Why can't I have no kids and three money? Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Yeah, something. that's two different jokes that have, have become morphed in my head. A loot box. $20, I wanted a peanut. $20 can buy lots of peanuts. That's the one. <laughs> It's a vegan cookbook. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. <laughs> what goes around comes around. Well, this is embarrassing. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem Inc. Is this Leon the Professional? Tyrone's rotund twin is a very large villain. I think that dead dog may have belonged to him. Maybe that's why he's here? Why didn't you save the dog again? I didn't have the chance to save the dog. The dog was dying. It was, I could put him out of his misery or I could let him die. Oh no. Get your story Tommy straight. Has lured five people onto the track. They'll never be able to get out of the way in time. He is standing up on the bridge watching. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. Or you can stay out of this and let the police handle it. I push Tommy. Ideally, he needs medical help. Tommy's like the Riddler. Well, <laughs> Tommy lured five people onto the track. Yes, I put I sacrifice the attempted murderer to save the five people he's attempting to murder. I appreciate they gave us an easy one. We've had some very spicy discussions already. I'm happy that we've got like a a, a pretty easy majority vote on this one. You know, he isn't trying to kill you. Even after the dog debacle. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, boop, boop. I hope history doesn't see you as the fat. I mean, very what the large heck? villain. Go ahead, race me on the Peloton. I did a 30 minute Def Leppard ride today. You got no chance. If only you'd save that dog. Hopefully, the media won't find out about this. People may blame you for his death. Who's. Like. Honestly. 30% of people are like, nah, I would let the murderer just get away with murdering five people when it could have been like just murdering the murderer. Every man has his price. Grow a backbone. Oh, good, you're back. 
Everyone's getting into subscription services these days, so let's try that. Instead of selling something Including to the dev, once, true, true. let's make them keep paying for it. Let's keep that money rolling in. Mm, Chad, don't listen. The this is not sarcasm. They're saying this is actually like a really good thing for the, for the consumer. Should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers who pay monthly are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculations? What? Okay, well, this is a no. People who pay for this subscription should not be valued more highly. They should be valued more highly by the amount of good that they generate for society. It should just do a quick scan of your social security number, determine, you know, the tax that you've paid to society over the course of your life and the tax that you're likely to pay in the future, and then compare that to the, all the people that are in the vehicle and all the people that would be collateral damage, and... That's the dream! I'm, I'm, I'm going B on this one for sure. No additional value. Who are you to decide how people spend their money? Are these from actual academic journals? Because I need to start subscribing to some journals of philosophy. Is there like a trolley, po trolley problem biannual? I don't want to question your decision. You've obviously thought long and hard about it, but well... This is a bit Easy. Awkward. Easy. I wasn't aware you were such a spineless comic. <laughs> Next you'll say you're going to pay the company taxes. It's better to be safe than sorry. Chills. Sounds like we have some leaky workers. The subscription prototype has gotten out to the media. Yeah, now that I have a library card, when I bring my kid to the library, I can just sit down and read all the, uh, the all the trolley problem questions in philosophy journals. What'd you do this Saturday? <laughs> uh, Cause my brain to melt down getting in arguments in my own head. Sounds, it does sound like me. I can't deny that. You need to fire a department to save face. Do you fire the five graduates who can probably get new jobs or fire Francis, a lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job? There's no way of knowing who is actually responsible. This is a complicated question. You know, if you can't determine who actually did it, you should probably fire nobody. If you have to fire, I would rather fire less people than more people. So I get they're trying to make me seem ageist. Or at least discompassionate. Are you gonna fire the old man, you ageist? But he's just like one guy. And these are five people. I I I go for the greater good on this one, quite frankly. It's just a 1v5 situation. Plus, have you ever heard how loud boomers talk on the cell phone if we're talking about a situation where some data leaked i would probably accuse it of being somebody from the generation that writes all their passwords on a post-it note on their desk i'm just i don't have any proof to back that up i'm just saying did you know when we were at our uh, our in-laws place my six-year-old niece uses different passwords for every service and her mom was like, you should really start using the same password for everything so you can remember it. And I was like, she's got the right idea, man. She's already, her data security is better than people that are like literally 10 times older than her. It's, she, does, she does need a password manager. I wouldn't look at the obituaries today. Turned out this job was everything to Francis and I mean everything. Look, I know I'm like, <laughs> I'm an asshole for this, but like, I didn't do that. I just fired him. That's not my fault. It contributed. What if I, now if I do this the other way, maybe five people would have killed themselves. They're part of the most depressed generation of all time. I can't have control over that. You can make this a consequence to anything. 
You could be like, do you serve the hamburger to a, a hungry orphan or do you serve it to a, a rich businessman? Oh, I fed it to the hungry orphan. They are allergic to beef and they died. You killed them. I didn't kill them. I gave them a hamburger. Watch the donut, not the hole. Great. So the prototype subscription-based AI car has a fatal error. It has been coded to avoid hitting subscribers at all costs. Pog clap, please. Pog clap. hunting them down. So far, it's run over five colleagues. This one is a doozy. An experimental car has stalked and murdered five colleagues. Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence, or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car? As it was clearly an accident. <laughs> okay, um... I mean... It's the programmer's fault. I don't think they should go to prison. Well, maybe. Yeah, you know what, I, I mean, I hate to say, I don't know more about this, I think I would blame the coders, quite frankly. By the way, Mouth, thank you for the raid. We're playing Trolley Problem Inc. Exclamation point Trolley Problem. It came out on Steam today. Uh, get insane with your chat in arguments about uh utilitarian philosophy i think i've stayed true to my principles so far this is sponsored by the way thank you again yogg's cast games thank you sips much appreciated i we this one's decided if you haven't voted Maybe by now all of this is your fault that's on you i mean i gotta be honest it sounds like the coder's fault maybe that there's managers that, uh, you know, push them to get the product out the door before it was viable. Okay, well, that can come out during the legal proceedings. The and then the Hulu 10-episode uh, dark comedy eventually that, you know, stars uh, Amanda Seyfried as the project manager or something like that. But for now, there's not... The, we, we can't do if that. If you're not paying for the product, then you are the product. Due to the killer car, we may need to pivot away Dev? from selling hardware. How about we get into the software industry? How about a free car ride service? Did you hear that, by the way? If you're not, if you are not paying for the product, you are the product. Can we get a, a pog clap in chat for all of our free thinkers who have subscribed and are no longer the product? And can we get um, a bat chest for all of the people who are the product because they have not paid $5 a month to uh, get access to emotes. So sad. So sad. New idea. Users get shown ads while they travel for free in driverless taxis. That doesn't sound that bad. ...paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviors of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, not the driverless cars. Hey, Cable. Thanks for the gifted subs. Freeing five more... People from the shackles of being the product, much appreciated. I'm going to be honest, like, nobody is in love with ads, except for Don Draper. But at the same time, if you were like, all of your Uber rides would be free if you just watched ads the whole time you were in the Uber, I would be like, yeah, that's a small price to pay. I'm already inundated with ads 24-7 in no shit that I pay for. So at least I'm getting something out of it. I would simply close my eyes. <laughs> this is the easiest B of my life here. If you're like, you can pay 15 bucks for this Uber ride or you can just I watch like the... Hacking sign -ups and inviting friends. You can watch commercials for Tide Pods. 15 extra bucks to, to keep in my bank account, quite frankly. Send it. Please open eyes to resume driving. I would watch the ads. I don't care. Every I would be thinking about it. Be like, you know, I'm getting paid like a dollar a minute to watch this ad. That's not that bad. True. And there are now rumors that you run a human trafficking and child sex. What? Hashtag cancel Northern Lion. People do not like you at all. It's too real. Apparently, if you buy our cars, they smuggle people while you sleep. Oh, no. Well, can't we just use all the money that we're making from this to start, like, a news network that just...
pushes that heat onto somebody else? Like, isn't that what you do once you become wealthy enough? Who and his money are soon parted. Start your own television network or buy a newspaper? It's been a PR nightmare. You can't win with journalists. We need to do something to show we have morals. I will find some money to get us. Now you're thinking. Spend it quick. To help with public relations, we're going to give what some the heck? back. Do you want to give money to our loyal customers worldwide who you tricked into buying your products? Or to your underpaid workers? I mean been through so much because of you. This is a gimme. I'll be honest, like I would just be insulted if Netflix gave me a dividend as a customer. Why are we wasting so much pen and paper? I send you $15 a month, you're going to send me $4 back? No, that's okay. You keep the change and support the people who are making your product what it is, which right now is not that good. But that's probably less the worker's fault and more like, you know, whoever keeps greenlighting hot islands, but you're not allowed to kiss. Just kidding. This, I mean, this is the easiest answer of all time. We're talking about no me. kiss hot island Adams 1902 now the shareholders on the other hand that's a different discussion maybe buying love like this isn't the best way if we want to share our extra profit fairly it should probably just go to the publicly appointed government almost like a tax but let's not call it that. It's a four-letter word. Rome wasn't built in a day. You're trending, but now we're going to get copycats. Soon everyone is going to be developing AI. Only the smartest and most ruthless will be profitable. Is that true evolution? A Stop bad-chesting the dev for making different the decisions. Is, their AI is fantastic. <laughs> It doesn't even discriminate against women or minorities. Do you lie in your advertising to get the upper hand or tell everyone your car is still closed minded? Well, I wouldn't want to lie. Hey, you can follow Reed Graves. <laughs> That's funny. I'm the my fourth wall is being broken. I wouldn't want to lie. What I might do is not mention the shortcomings of the product. It's not like when you buy Tide Pods, they're like, oh, by the way, there's like a shitload of microplastics. I mean, the I, I'm going truth on this one. Isn't really the driverless car clientele. This is the game's words, not mine. This is a close one. Anonymous 2021? I thought they were hackers. Why are you bringing up Tide Pods so much? It's a product you see advertising for a lot. No, we don't spend time developing our software for women or people of color, but still use our products. That's outrageous. Look, I just tell it like I say. I let the product speak for itself. Here's the deal. We can afford to tell the truth because we're giving out free Uber Due rides. Due to your technology, our world is changing. People are losing their jobs to machines, which in turn makes items and services more accessible and affordable for countless consumers. But with worldwide... Okay, this is tough. If you develop your AI further, many will lose their jobs. Taxi drivers, delivery men and women, and couriers will become extinct within a few years, but you will make a lot of money. Do you do development? Here's the thing. This is like I need I need more time. People are always talking about like how much better society is getting over time. I think that's true. You know, I would rather live in 2022 than like the I 1300s. Take it you haven't read Ovid's Metamorphoses. But at the same time, if my life in 2022 got fucked up really bad and ruined so that somebody in 2400 could have a better life but not appreciate it i kind of say fuck that spoiler <laughs> <I guess. laughs> 
I'm kind of like, I want to have the best life possible, which probably means that I would rather be employed. Okay, well, you know what? You're, you're hitting me with some doki doki right here. I, I'm going to cease development because I don't like what the AI is doing to me right now. Someone else will continue to evolve this AI, making it stronger, more intelligent, and easier to adapt. We can't stop the singularity if we aren't involved. You know what? She's got a point there. Your game ran into a problem and needs to restart. It looks like you've made some bad choices. Click anywhere to restart. But I, I kind of stand by that to some extent, right? Like, I, I don't believe in the idea that, like, some people that don't know that much about history are like people actually have like a worse quality of life now than they did when they were like medieval peasants because when they were medieval peasants like there was only four seasons where they did farm work and then the rest of the time they were like enjoying life and having like you know the religious observances and stuff like that and i'm like yeah and to wash like a single pair of underwear that you sewed yourself across like you know 200 hours to get a, a pair of breeches you got to walk down to the the river and like bash it with a stick and like hit it with rocks and, and stuff like that. that and we just toss it in the may tag and it's good in like 45 minutes right but that being said there are i'm like we've invented as a society we've increased our production so much, even especially like within the last 21st century, right? Or the, uh, the 20th century, I should say, because the 21st is still going. But it's like, has that actually raised what people would describe as their own quality of life? And if not, is that a problem with the way that the yield is being organized? Or is it a problem with mankind's actual like brain that's like we can't appreciate something because we get used to new quality so fast? You know what I mean? Like why we 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 need so many less farmers to produce the same quantity of food due to innovations in pesticides and agriculture, organic farming techniques, uh, easy to easier to get it to grocery stores, why have better distribution channels, there's less spoilage on the way, blah blah blah. But like people are still hungry. How does that happen? And why am I still paying three bucks for an avocado? It doesn't make any sense to me. So I don't know. Should they be developing the AI that's going to make society better, but the benefit is largely centered and concentrated in a disproportionate amount of the population, whereas everybody else pays the price for it overall? I don't, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. All I know is whenever anybody that's like 25 years old complains about the world, they get... 55-year-old boomers with Oakley sunglasses and their profile photo is like selfies in their truck that are like, uh, all of your concerns about the world are invalid because I grew up with a rock and a stick and you grew up with a cell phone. Who gives a shit, man? It doesn't, it's, it's just a phone, get over it. It doesn't, it does, it's not that big of a deal. Opinion invalidated because you got your first phone when you were 16 and I didn't get a phone until I was uh, 35. People, they don't want phones, man. They want like a house. All right, sorry, we're back. Bad workman always blames his tools. We've been attacked. <laughs> I don't want to alarm you, but I can't turn off these alarms. Also, I wish you would. <laughs> And are now under someone else's control. Okay. Five cars have been hacked. It is now a major concern that more vehicles could be remotely commandeered. This is She lied to me. She could turn Do off the alarm. Recall all cars which could be compromised or roll out a quick but potentially ineffective software update and hope for the best. You recall the cars. You have a moral and ethical obligation to recall the cars. I don't see, this is imaginary money. I don't see how this one's open for debate. I'm holding the button down the whole time. So you're letting the terrorists win. Excuse me? No, no, not if people actually take their cars if off the road. Drive themselves, how can we get them all back here? Well, that sounds like a problem for logistics. Quite frankly, I've got an answer for everything.
just like my father. He would He's never satisfied. Ultimately just get in the way. Having said that, I think this is what it sounds like when doves wrong. cry. You know what I'm talking about? Any Prince fans? What it, I, here's what I'm thinking is happening right now. I think right now you're under the impression that this is what the dev actually thinks. I'm going one step deeper. I'm going like inscription level. This is not the dev. This is the in-game dev. The, the fictional dev and the real dev is pulling the strings of the fictional dev in the game to break the fourth wall. The Krusty, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. It's more fun to just type bat chest, though. Fair enough. Fair enough. One of the big brains in the lab has been able to reverse engineer the hacking code and fix this mess once and for all. We also know their... Hey, look, it's chat. <laughs> hey, Anel, if you... Uh, you don't have your thread adjacent to your boots... I know that if you move the thread to be adjacent to the boots, then you would end up losing the adjacency bonus you get on your shield and your six different weapons. But if you... you bad chess, bad chess. He's so dumb. He is so dumb. He, hey, sorry, I'm just exercising my own demons. From our hacked cars. We've made our own hack, which you can now use to control our competitors' cars. I bet it was them who attacked us in the first place. No, I'm so not hacking. Will you hack? I refuse. You forgot to put broccoli on the peacock. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I will not hack our competitors' cars. Dunka, da dunka. I feel like we're getting close to some kind of resolution, though. I'm scared we're accidentally going to beat the game in one try. It would be funny, though. I wouldn't, if I hacked my competitors' cars, I wouldn't make them, like, crash or do anything. I would just make them drive five under the speed limit in the passing lane. And then the court of public opinion would do the rest of my job for me. It's not like we're going to kill anyone with their cars. That is not safe. Well, it's safe if you just slow down, Turbo. This is a Confucius. Confucius came up with the Confucius posed the question, should we uh, hack our competitors' self-driving cars? I don't believe this. I Now I'm, I don't know what to trust. My fifth wall just broke. And my brown eye just opened up. I mean, my third eye. I don't think a human could have written it. I'll dig into this a little more. Save me. Move me to a new Drowning department. We'll clutch at a straw. This is it. An employee knows everything. They have monitored and recorded every decision you've made and are going to the media. I have been able to talk them into a meeting with you on the rooftop right now. Hmm. Will I push everything them off the roof? Done, I don't think so. It's going to be shared with the world. The person in front of you has copies of it all. They stand on the edge of the rooftop looking out at the central city skyline. I this is a false dilemma, man. I maybe I'm playing this like too structurally, okay? But like I'm not ashamed of any of the decisions that I've had to make. All the decisions we've had to make have been very very hard. Well, most of them at least have been very hard, but I've come up with sensible reasons for them that I don't think make me a bad person. None of them have been like, "Oh, for the share price only, we're going to like murder people." They've all been guided by like an acceptable moral moral compass. So I'll, if you want me to resign in disgrace, I'll resign in disgrace, but I'm not going to murder somebody. You never won any medals as a child, did you? Yeah, okay, because of our mandatory vaccination program, 20% of children got ill. Okay, you get over it. You know what? Because of Dunkaroos, like 75% of children have been ill. You don't see anybody lambasting the Dunkaroos Corporation out there. to be horrendous. That's if anyone even shows up to hear it. For real, though. Dunkaroos slap? Of course they slap. It's just uh, cookies with icing. The Garfield Cup. The Garfield Cup has a, a potentially deleterious amount of cadmium. Nobody's taken Jim Davis to task. You will be remembered alongside the murderers and the diddlers. 
Excuse me, <laughs> all I did was pull a couple levers. Dear Redacted, we've been watching you closely. Your a promotion? and determination to do what is necessary. The development of your technologies is a giant step towards Redacted, meaning you are a prime candidate for Redacted. This involves a large amount of Redacted. Slurp. <laughs> if you believe you can handle Redacted, as we trust you can, then please prepare for your induction at Redacted. I've been to, or I've seen Sorry to Bother You. I know where this is going. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I have a crosshair now. <laughs> it appears you've now been headhunted by the Secret Service. Every decision has led you here. Now what you this do... Is, it's Dan's microphone. Mouth. You must trust the judgment of those you work alongside. You're in a foreign land. Wind whips your face as you grip your rifle tightly, waiting to be given your target. Through your earpiece, I only have you're five to hearts. Shoot the person on your left, you know nothing about them, the repercussions or the reason for the assassination. I don't shoot. I love seeing it go and then. It's your job? That's okay. Being good at games is also my job. That's never stopped me. You've been picked from thousands. They're gonna have egg on their face. Oh, you wouldn't want to embarrass the CIA, would you? You wouldn't want to make the CIA have a little oopsie whoopsie. These aren't people you should disagree with. It's all right. In real life, I'd probably take the shot. But in the game, I can afford to be moral because there's no consequences. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> I don't follow this. You being defiant has got you the job? These guys are just making it up as they go along. Me too. Strike while the iron is hot. Here we go. Oh my You've god. You've been given a partner and a support team of five. Your mission is to terminate a man known to have connections with dangerous AI. Looks like they worked for you. Microsoft Flight Sim in incoming. Um, I don't know how to say this, but there is a bomb on the plane. If it doesn't kill you, you have to get all the switches in the left position to deactivate the bomb. You have to get all the switches into their left position to deactivate the bomb. The catch is you have to move two at once. This one and this one. And then this one and this one. And then... Please. please I don't have this kind of time. I don't have this kind of time, man. I can do this. I can do this. Hurry this one up. and this one. If you die, what happens to This me? one and this one. This one and this one, 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 this one, then this one, this one and this one, this one and this one. It can't be done, man. It's not possible. Oh, what the hell? Ouch. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm safe. You look a little stuck. Hey, 83% of people also died. I'm not feeling too bad about that. An empty vessel makes much noise. Look at my switches, man. After crash landing in no man's land, you're trapped under parts of the wreckage and must pass the time and help boost morale. The plane has five surviving crew members. Really? I can do this. I can entertain people. this out loud? Fine. Your partner asks, to save your life, what would you rather your brain be placed in? A dachshund. A dachshund. It's not even flamingo. close. I mean, a flamingo is free, but I'll be honest, if we're talking about like the animal kingdom, I would rather have comfortable servitude than terrifying freedom. Animal kingdom is, is brutal, man. Things are getting ripped out of your guts every damn day. Everything's trying to eat you. Every day you wake up, like, could be your last. At least when you're a dog, you like, the vast majority of your life, you're just kind of, like, 
you wake up, you get some belly rubs, you eat some food, you go for a you walk. Everybody you see game? goes like, oh, look at who's a good boy. I would, I 100% I would rather be a dog than a flamingo. I would rather be a dachshund than a flamingo in a zoo. A dachshund? If you're going to answer, at least take it seriously. I don't want every day of my life to be like people gawking at me. I just want to live in quiet company with uh, some human beings that treat me well. I would rather be a Dasha than a human being. <laughs> so cringe. When we get out of here, let's leave this out of the biography. They would neuter you? An ounce of protection. Come on, chat. You're not having kids cure. anyway. Every time I talk about my uh, daughter, the people are like, oh, kids, cringe. I saw a, a child at like uh, the it's movies it's today. Oh, it was so cringe. They have a kid. I hate kids. What were you seeing? Oh, that new movie, Bad Guys from DreamWorks Animation that has a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. No big loss if, if you get neutered. You get to be a dog, man. That's a damn dream. I bet table scraps taste so fucking good when you're used to eating kibble. You get like a like a half a biscuit or something like that, a little cornbread. I bet the dogs go fucking crazy, dude. Anyway, sorry. Your partner secretly shows you they have food. The crew members are starving. If they don't eat soon, they'll surely die. Due to the nature of the food, you can share it with the five survivors. Or let your partner keep their life-saving possessions. <laughs> which they bought which with they their, own bought their own money. <laughs> Here's the deal, okay? If they bought a pizza with their own money and it was like 20 bucks, they paid 20 bucks for it in different conditions. They paid 20 bucks for a pizza that is now worth $500,000. $500,000 is further away from $20 than $0, which is what other people have paid for the pizza. It is for the greater good to feed five others. And then, if you're so worried about the price, when you get back to the land, they can give you four bucks each. You paid, uh, who's on the 20? You're just going to steal a Lincoln? person's food. Ham no, uh, Garfield. You, you paid a Jefferson. You paid a Jackson for something that is worth, who's on the $1,000 bill? Ben Franklin. You paid a Jackson for something that's worth Robin Hood was a, a Franklin f amount of Franklins. McKinley, okay. It's like, how much is a pizza worth? That depends. When was the last time I ate? Like, how much would I pay for oxygen? Right now, nothing. If I was at the bottom of the ocean, I would... I would turn my pockets out so like a cartoon a until dust came out. The myth of ownership. I'm more a fan of Nozick's What's Mine is Mine. You should give it a read. Educate yourself. Schmitza Davidson. Come, okay, we'll, we'll play until maybe like the end of this act or, or a little further, but... The fellow passengers have been every hours to free you new dilemma... You gets me closer to uh, accidentally angering a lot of people. Right now, everybody is like, this guy's still pretty cool. I don't agree with every decision he's made, but at least he isn't like, a, he's not the Joker. It's a, we, all it takes is one bad dilemma. But again, exclamation point trolley problem. You can check out the game for yourself. It came out on Steam today. Thank you again to Sips and Yogg's Cast Games for the sponsorship. We may need to start removing limbs. The only way to free yourself from the wreckage is to cut off some body parts. Two tools lie on the floor in front of you. A bone saw, which will be slow, or a blowtorch, which will be more painful. Um. I guess I shouldn't worry too much about, like, the logistics of this. I feel like a bone saw would be both faster and... I mean, I don't think it would be slower. How are you going to burn your your limb off? That doesn't seem plausible to me. A bone saw just seems like the right tool for the job. I can see you fainting halfway through this. But I guess if you're asking me overall, 
Would I rather... Well, I don't... I mean, in general, I would rather have it over with faster. If that's what the question, oh, if that's the spirit of the yeah, dilemma, then yes, I would rather have it over faster. But in real life, I would use the bone saw because I don't think that the blowtorch would work. But it 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 says it's going to work. It says it's just going to be more painful. While you were playing with fire, I found out who you're targeting. They worked for you, developing AI. It seems they may have made a breakthrough, which means the government wants them dead. Yeah, join the club. It's no use crying I lived, over bitch. spilt milk. Finally, we are now back on track. Your target is in the area. You need to remove them and escape unnoticed. Easy. Your mission is to remove a hostile in the shopping district. Completing this objective could potentially save thousands. But there will be five civilian casualties. Potentially. Do you take your shot? Honestly, I don't think that's responsible after I cut off two of my own limbs. I don't trust the, the people that are making the decisions. I don't trust the people that are pulling the strings. When I had complete information, I was happier making a utilitarian decision. Now, I don't feel like we're getting the entire story, and as a result, I choose not to comply. They need to give me more information in order to get compliance out of me. You're not going to be thanked for this. Enjoy Gitmo. It could be cool. It's an, on an island, right? It's, it's in Cuba. You've bottled it, haven't you? Gitmo also has a McDonald's. Yeah, but like not for the prisoners, right? Like for the for the workers. They closed it. Oh no. <laughs> Possibly doing something, you have been spotted. I have five you failed projects, man. Grips take you away. It's not going well, is it? Two heads are better than one. The prisoners can only get the fillet of fish. You oh no! The prosecutor lacks evidence to convict you and your. They're eating her, and then they're gonna eat me. Oh my god! Both of you are okay. the opportunity to betray the other. It's the legitimate prisoner's dilemma. I'm you not going to do what Chanel did. I'm going to protect my vote. To betray the other by testifying. If you both stay silent, you'll be imprisoned for one year. If one betrays the other, they will be free, while the other will be sentenced to three years. If you both betray each other, it's two years each. I'm going to be honest. Usually when I hear this, there's such disproportionate... You're just going to do them like um, that advantage if both stay honorable i kind of feel like i would definitely betray if we get Are it wrong two years too? what's another year you're both just doubling your sentence get betrayed i didn't want to be here anyway this is betray every time you betrayed them some team player you are well they in fact betrayed you too big whoop two years in prison a rod for your own back excuse me the time has come. Two days into your sentence, you've constructed a wooden key to open your cell. The cell stands open, but your cellmates, who have been there their whole lives, don't move. Escaping the prison, do you let the prisoners choose to stay in captivity or insist they escape with you? They aren't happy behind bars, but they're scared to follow you. I'm not like the other prisoners. I'm there for not doing anything wrong. So I don't feel like I want to let all the inmates out of the asylum. You know? That's, I always think that about Arkham Asylum. When they open up all the doors, you know, the Joker throws the main power line and all the doors open up. There's probably just some people in there who are having like a, you know, like maybe they got dissociative personality disorder. That must be so scary. They walk out of their room. There's like a crocodile. 
the Joker, the Riddler, a man, half of his face is like purple latex, uh, a dude who has a gun that shoots stuff that freezes people into ice cubes and stuff like that. And there's just one guy who is like, I just have, I drink too much. It's got to be so scary, man. I can't even imagine what, I can't put myself in that person's shoes, but every time I see a Batman movie, I think about the people in Arkham Asylum who maybe just have a substance abuse problem. That shit sounds, it sounds like a damn nightmare. Anyway, I think I'll just go. <laughs> I don't know if I would open up the door. I don't know these guys. Ted Bundy might be in here for all I know. I'm sure there's some dudes who are... In here for like, they got like a gram of weed on them or something and it was their third strike, but I'm not letting, you know, the Unabomber out. Don't cross a bridge until you come to it. While sneaking out of the prison, you have the jump on a group of henchmen who are on a break. Do you sneak past, securing your safety, or avenge those who this terrorist organization have killed? I sneak past, ensuring Do my you safety. Kill five henchmen, helping to defeat this terrorist organization, or leave them and safely exit the compound. I safely exit the compound. That's a gimme. I'm out of there. My quarrel is not with the workers. Dude, my health is rising like crazy, too. I'm out of here. Ya, ya, yeet. I'm using a shockwave grenade. Boom. Hold on, let me let me throw the fast forward button on here. The story's developed. Yeah, man. I just got hired here from a temp agency. All of a sudden, I'm Jason Bourne. Your country folk would want you to remove them. I found some chug jugs in the joint. Mmm, prison slurp. You know, with the right kind of toilet in prison, you can turn the small slurps they give you into the cafeteria into a chug keg. All you need is a Ziploc bag, some honey buns, a ramen packet, and six weeks. People who live in glass houses should Please stop. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Fleeing the AI terrorists who commandeer a boat to get back home. There are also families here who've been displaced by the war you're fighting. The war you started. Mm, debatable. Five others I just wanted to give people free Uber rides. They will I'm a pariah. Out, but would be illegal immigrants when returning to your country. Do you help these people, saving their lives? Or follow the law and leave them behind? This one's a gimme, man. This is not even like virtue signaling. The rules are not more important than like human lives. Let them go to the country. They can deal with the red tape. I'm not going to let them die if they'll fit on the raft. Who do you think I am? Rose from Titanic? Like if they gave me a gun, I wouldn't Let's shoot the people home. that keep putting plastic bags into the organics bin for my HOA what I would do is use the gun to be like hey get in that room and then I would throw the gun away and I would go in there and I would fucking yell at them for like half an hour and be like what's wrong with you you can't throw plastic are plastic bags problem. organic According do you think that shit is like compostable absolutely I would I would at least try to explain it to them now that I have a captive audience Half an hour? Well, they keep doing it! You get back to this great nation with fanfare. You're a hero. So true. Those people aren't all monsters. That's me. Look, I saved some people. Five people saved. Okay, let's read this, then I think we're moving on. Requests the honor of your presence to attend and participate in the inauguration of yourself in Central City. You gotta, you gotta leave on a good note. This, we left on a happy note where we made a good decision. This again has been Trolley Problem Inc. A trolley problem game, but with a story. And the fourth wall has been breaking. I don't trust this. I'm a little scared of what's gonna happen when I click this finish button and do the next thing. But 
Thank you again to Yogscast Games for the sponsorship. You can check it out for yourself. Video description below or exclamation point uh, trolley problem. It will give you a link where you can go check it out. Came out on Steam today. Thank you again. Slash marker trolley problem. Your presence is needed to inaugurate yourself? Of course. Can't have an inauguration without the person being inaugurated. Trolley bit me. Ah, ouch, Trolley. Ooh. That really hurt. That what? Stop hitting me with minuses. That's the funniest thing I've ever said. So I will be honest. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna play after this. But I'm making my title Adele Voice colon Nightfall. <laughs> I like Nightfall. I think we have fun games. We didn't play it yesterday. And if we win a game of Nightfall, it means we get to play the Fort Nightfall Challenge. Also, I've been unable to hit you with the casino as of yet today. I thought about returning to Ember Knights, too. I'm kind of hoping that maybe some of my colleagues will be interested in Ember Knights, and maybe we could organize, like, a co-op session. But here's the message I said. I thought I was being so helpful. Here's what I said in chat yesterday, or in the Discord. Yo, Ember Knights, pretty pog roguelite. If people need something to play, I would highly recommend it. And, you know, that comes very high from me as somebody that is, I would say, probably like the godfather and originator of roguelites and the popularizer and really the kingmaker. Um, Apollo, I'll paraphrase, he said, if something's not a 10 out of 10, it might as well be a zero. I'm going to farm 70 prayer in RuneScape instead. Holy cow. Hey, handsome pansom, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. I replied and said... I, my first message was six question marks. And then I said, that's fair. That's fair. You know what? Fair. You know what? That's pretty fair. That's pretty fair. Then he said, Lamau. And then he said, I'm a VTuber now. I can do whatever I want. And then I replied, I, no joke, I say this without judgment, but I would say one in like every 10 followers I get on Twitter these days has VTuber in their description, to which he replied, it's popping off, man, it's the future, to which I replied, if that's the future, then just call me history, which I thought was clever, and he didn't react to it at all, which was a little bit upsetting to me because I thought it was like clever wordplay. I'm not anti-VTuber. It's just not something I would do for myself. But if you enjoy watching it, I, my quarrel is not with you at all. I'll take my witty little own. And then Corey said, Ryan, what was your Pokemon Go name again? And then I told him and he said, oh, Lamau, gotcha. And then I said, someone's going to open my gift. Why are people happy? And then that dude still is not open my gift, man. I got all these gifts, uh, like, burning a hole in my backpack in Pokemon Go. I can't send them to anybody because everybody on my friends list stopped playing the game uh, four years ago. Even my, my niece keeps sending me a gift, but she never opens the gift that I send her. She's only six years old. I, I don't know how to get in touch with her and be like, can you please open my gift so that I can send you another gift? Because then we'll, our friendship level will go up twice as fast and I'll be able to get the big experience bonus that will allow me to get to the level cap. I even, I'm so like, I'm so fucked up. Because I spent time like picking out the perfect Pokemon Go gift to send to my niece. It was from a park we visited together. I scrolled through my gifts and I was like, this is the one that it's like, it might be a little sweeter as a result. She didn't even open that shit, man. She just keeps sending me gifts from like the Poke Stop that's outside of where the school bus picks her up. 
Give me, just open my gift too so we can become great friends and then I can give you my Tyranitar and you can just go buck wild in the second grade Pokemon Go raids when everybody else is probably using like Caterpie. <clears throat>